all in one year, we got three boys and I'm outnumbered. <laughs> It took us almost three years to get here. Starting with the twins, we got them first. They were basically being raised by two other teenage twins and this foster family had to relocate. And when you're a foster kid, you are wards of the state. So you cannot move with a family that is not an adoptive home. And so this foster mother reached out to us and said that we could come and meet them. So Lupe and I went to go meet the twins and they were crawling and they had like full mouths of teeth. I remember that. I was like, gosh, already? Right from the beginning, it was just, you know, there was a, a feeling, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to describe it, some kind of attachment that we felt. They. Um, crawled on us and they were not afraid and then I went back many times after to visit the twins and then the foster mom decided got to decide when they came to us which was on their first birthday which we thought was really nice so we did have it here in the house and my mom came and my auntie Ho came and we did a little celebration and the boys that was their first spending the night after their birthday, uh, we were aware that there was no family contact and we were aware that there were um, three other siblings that were older, so the twins were the youngest. So we did sibling visits. We knew about TJ, but we had never met him at a sibling visit because it could never be arranged. I always kept tabs on all the siblings because I didn't want the boys to have to do that when they grew up. I just wanted to at least know where they are and what their story was and send pictures. We had a visit from the twins social worker. They all have the same county social worker. I asked how all of them were doing and then we came to TJ and the social worker told us that um, he was going to be removed immediately and I can't remember the term for it, but the foster mom asked for immediate removal of her placements that she had. She had many. As we were talking about it, even though he's the one I know least about, I just told the social worker that, okay, well, if you can't find anyone, just let us know. And he, he went to his car and called our agency and told our agency that I said, she said she could take him. So he came the next day. <laughs> And I came home from work one day and he was standing um, right in front, you know, as soon as I opened the door, he was standing there. He was very smart, very talkative, um, very articulate, which he still is now. Like, I, he was only two, almost two months before his third birthday and he was very articulate and just talked and talked and talked, which is what I do, so I could totally keep up with him but he exhausted himself that first day even without his brothers being there when he first got here they were at school and he slept until 12 noon the next day <laughs> we got the boys march 11th that's their first birthday and we got tj october 24th the same year and we have great pictures of the twins meeting tj when they came home and they were instant friends because they had heard about a brother coming and anybody who comes here is always welcome. So he did really good. And TJ also came with very good manners. So I hadn't been teaching the twins that. <laughs> and he helped us because he said, please and thank you for everything. Like he? Good. You're welcome. Can you say more please? More please. Please. And then Thank you. Good job. Parental rights happened over a year ago, probably almost two years at this point for all three kids. Once parental rights are terminated, we still have to wait a six month appeal period. Then quarantine happened. So the six month period came and went and then we finally got it on the calendar. So today was signing of intent that took three years to get to. Uh, we decided to tie them all together with the same middle name and then to take our last name, of course. So it's Taylor James Gomez, Gabriel James Gomez, and Nathaniel James Gomez. 
Uh, well, I'm excited. I'm nervous because I don't know what the next step will be. But we're excited and, and happy that they're, you know, they're they're going to be our our kiddos. We're adopted today. I love me. I love me. I smoke. I love you.